let's talk about the corollary to the triangle sum theorem. So this corollary to this theorem that we talked about in the last video is that the acute angles of a right triangle, so important only for right triangles, are complementary. Complementary. So if you remember from 1.5 to 1.6 near the beginning of the school year, that means that these add up to equal 90 degrees. So looking at this triangle, that means that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B is equal to 90. So it's kind of nice when we have that right angle, we're dealing with less numbers here. So let's look at some examples. So looking at this first one, I see I have a right angle. So that automatically means that these two angles add up to equal 90. So I can have x plus 2x is equal to 90. Well, x plus 2x, I get 3x. Then if I divide both sides by 3, I get that x is equal to 30. However, I need to read my directions. My directions say I need to find the measure of each acute angle. Well, I found this one. That one's 30. But now I need to find the measure of this one. And so that means instead of 2x, I'm going to have 2 times 30, which is equal to 60 degrees. And then my other one is 30 degrees. And I can check my work. 60 plus 30 does, in fact, equal 90. Right, let's try the same thing with this problem. So again, I have a right angle, right triangle, so that automatically means that these two angles are complementary, so that means they add up to equal 90. Now I just need to solve for x. So 2x plus x, I get 3x. Well, if I add 6 to both sides, I get 3x is equal to 96. And then if I divide both sides by 3, I get that x is equal to 50, or 32. Sorry. Now I have to do a little bit more work, though, to find these angle measurements. So I'm going to first find 2x. Well, I know x is equal to 32, so I just have 2 times 32 to get me 64 degrees. And then I need to plug in x for this number here. So instead of x, I have 32 minus 6 is equal to 26 degrees. And again, I can check my work. 64 plus 26 does, in fact, get me 90. Okay, now let's look at this word problem. So this one says that the measure of one acute angle of a right triangle, again, right triangle, is one and a half times the measure of the other acute angle. I want to find the measure of each acute angle. Well, I don't know the measure of either, so I'm just going to go ahead and label the first one as x. But I know the second one is one and a half times the measure of that original. So that means my two angles, I'm going to have x, and the other one is one and a half times it, so I can just have 1.5x. And then again, by our corollary, I know that's going to equal to 90. Well, x plus 1.5x, I get 2.5x. And then divide both sides by 2.5. And I get that x is equal to 36. So I know the angle of my 1, the measurement of my first angle is 36 degrees. And then the other one is just going to be 1.5 times 36. to get me 54 degrees. And again, checking my work, 36 plus 54 does get me 90. Okay, that's it for this video. You can go ahead and move on to that last one.